what does a thieving Australian treasure hunter, a no-nonsense South African mercenary, warlords in India all have in common? That's the question behind Uncharted The Lost Legacy, heading out to PlayStation 4 consoles around the world starting on August 22nd. It's also the subject of today's episode of The Hype Train. When we last left the Uncharted universe, Nate and Elena found a legal way to get their treasure hunting jollies on. Sam and Sully set out to be leaves on the wind, and in a final epilogue to the game, we were introduced to the next generation, Cassie Drake. Basically, my favorite video game series of all time was wrapped up in a perfectly tied bow, and I loved it. So often, you can't get closure on video games, TV shows, stuff like that. I figured the DLC that Naughty Dog was planning was going to revolve around perhaps one of the time gaps in Uncharted 4, or even some random adventure between 3 and 4. So we all know Nate and Elena gave up treasure hunting at some point between 3 and 4, but I feel like, at least in Amy Henning's mind, they got into some crazy artifact hunting shenanigans on their honeymoon. Now, I was initially very anti-hype when it came known that Chloe and Nadine were going to be headlining the, the DLC. On one hand, I was like, yay for more female protagonists in games, but I was selfish and I wanted one last, one final last goodbye with these characters that I had spent the better part of 10 years with. But Naughty Dog did as Naughty Dog does and they talked me into being excited for this, eventually. Claudia Black, whom I have loved as an actress since her days on Farscape and the latter seasons of Stargate SG-1, comes back as Chloe Frazier from Uncharted 2 and 3, and Laura Bailey, um, the voice of many a fictional female badass, as well as critical roles Vexalia, returns as Nadine from Uncharted 4. On paper, these two ladies could not be any more different. Yes, they're both shoot first, talk later types. And yes, Chloe cares about a small, very small, select circle of people in her life. But above all, she's wild, she's spontaneous, and she looks out for number one, first and foremost. Nadine, however, is she's more methodical. She's much more practical and she spent most of her life handing out orders and expecting those orders to be followed blindly by those following her. To see how these two personalities mesh is going to be quite the journey, I'm sure. Chloe has been always kind of a lone wolf in most regards, and with Nadine's fall at the end of Uncharted 4, I mean, she really doesn't have shoreline anymore, and from some things that you learn from Elena, that about Shoreline. Uh, it sounds like they'd been on the losing side of the last few conflicts that it had taken part in. So she's kind of in the same lone wolf boat, just not of her own volition. I assume they'll bond over that fact, among other things. From the scattered gameplay I've seen of The Lost Legacy, which isn't much because, you know, I don't want to see too much. The team at Naughty Dog seems to be taking lessons from the development process on Uncharted 4, as well as The Last of Us, and kind of turning that dial all the way up to 11. Their recreation of India seems super lush and just filled with, you know, different treasures to find and opportunities to replay the game in various ways. I'm looking forward to trying some stealth approaches to encounters and seeing how the additions of C4 and lock picking and this new silent pistol they have change up the single player. So to sum things up, we've got two complicated badass female protagonists, not just one, but two, an incredible new setting, that being India, a brand new treasure to seek, that being the Tusk of Ganesh, 
and a whole new mess of game mechanics to mess around with. Uncharted The Lost Legacy drops on August 22nd here in North America and the 23rd worldwide. So until next time, stay hyped and play more games!